Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Anna Bella, and today I'm going to be doing another Colora review. Today I'm going to be reviewing these Colora gel pens, there are 36 of them, we're going to get to them in a minute. Here are the nylon brush pens, which I've already done a review of, there are 50 of them and two water tank brushes in them. In that set you got this sample card, which I have completed, ta-da, using brush pens, colouring pencils, and some gel pens. Here is my Mandala's Magical Nature um, book from Colara, as you can somewhat see. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. And here is my new National Arboretum colouring stacker thing that I got. Um, why that is relevant, I will. you'll find out. Basically, here we have the packaging. So we have this fairy here and we have mandalas all around the packaging. So this is the front, side, other side, and then we have the back. And then we've got the languages, English, French, Italian, German, Belgian. There we go. So if we take that off and we read, Express your most artistic visions with ease with the gel pens by Colara. These premium quality colouring medium was especially designed to provide a unique colouring experiences on the pages of our colouring books for adults. The thin points of the gel pen is, perf is the perfect tool for intricate mandalas or for highlighting detail of your magical characters by adding some extra glitter and sparkle. Okay. These are the refills that I got because you can buy refills for them, all made in China. So be really, really careful. They come sealed in a sealed bag and there they are, there are the pen tops and they're facing downwards for obvious reasons so the ink does not come out. So this is the packaging, it is smaller than the brush pens packaging obviously. It does have the cute little rainbow though logo on it. So let's just move the brush pens out of the way. That was just for comparison purposes. We've got the zip. Ta -da, da 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 If we can actually get into it. There we go. Opens out. Annoyingly, we have the same template card. Ugh, annoying. But it is good quality card. You've got English, German and French on the back. And the little code that you scan to join the Facebook group. Annoyingly, that is the same pattern. And even more annoyingly, it is slightly ruffled at the top. But I'm looking forward to colouring that. So here they are. So you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 there. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 2, 4, 6. Yeah, 36 as you should have. Now, what is really important to note is the glitter ones have got glittery packaging on their pens. So they've got glitter on them. The metallic ones do not and it's really important whenever you get any new coloring things that you do a color chart so here it is my color chart you get two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen nineteen you get nineteen glitter pens and two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen metallic. So that should get you to 36. So the colours we have are khaki glitter, deep brown glitter, bright yellow, black, deep green, green glitter, purple, deep purple glitter, night purple glitter, pink rose, pink glitter, Coral pink glitter, red glitter and turquoise. I do love a good turquoise. It's one of my favourite colours. 
blue glitter, blue glitter, true blue glitter, apricot orange glitter, sunflower glitter, true orange, and then we're on copper metallic, chocolate metallic, brown orange metallic, brown metallic, powder blue, true blue, red metallic, red pink, purple metallic, night purple, forest green, jade green, rose wood pink, grey metallic, deep grey metallic, yellow metallic, and dark grey metallic. We have got a couple of repeats with the colours, with the night purple and... Whoa! Yeah, it's just the night purple that is a repeat and the purple metallic and the red metallic. But they're good. So there they are. So to if I get this one out so you can have a look. Tops are quite difficult to get off, which is what you want in a decent size. So there we are. If we turn over on the back, run quite nicely. This is red glitter. So you can see there, it comes out glittery. And they've got a hell of a lot of ink in them which is quite good for what we want them to do. And this is the lid. It's got a spongy thing at the top, so the top of the pen is protected inside its lid. And it fits quite nicely in the packaging. Anyway, I'll put that away later because I want to get onto this bit. Just close that, put that up there. Ugh, organising. Okay, so here's one I made earlier. Didn't use any of those or the brush pens. See, there's the scanning. And that's what I did with my nylon brush pens because you should always do a colour chart whenever you get new materials because it helps you use them. Here is one I did using none of those. Brush pens we used here. I love how this one has turned up. Very autumnal. That's one of my favourites, this is, to be absolutely honest. And my butterfly, rainbow themed. Love that. That one's looking quite good. Used different materials. Used my brush pens on that. Used different items. Same with that one. Used different stuff. Some... I used my colouring pencils, my gel pens that I already own, and um, my new brush pens. Brush pens, colouring pencils, a blank one. Let's go to Mr Squirrel Nutkin. Very autumnal. Brush pens was used and colouring pencils and gel pens for him. Yeah. This one, colouring pencils and brush pens mostly. This is my current one. I've used my watercolour brush pens on it. And here I've started to use some of the new gel pens on this cat. This is the first time this cat has been exposed to the general public. It is under construction. I'm kind of liking it, to be absolutely honest. There's a deer that's not been coloured. I really do like the thickness of this paper. It is good quality paper because you can actually use proper, proper watercolours on this from a palette and not have any problems. So there's my fairy. It's overworked, but there you go. It is overworked. I've overworked it. But I do actually adore her wings and the blending. Her wings are my favourite and the neon hair. The flowers I've just massacred. But hey, hey. The way it goes sometimes. Now, this is the one I want to show you if I can turn a page. I used one of my water tanks from here, one of my watercolour palettes that I've already got with actual watercolour stuff, and it worked beautifully for the background here. I then used my Royal, my National, my, mem my Memorial National Memorial. National Memorial Arboretum pen to do my goat 
and he's come out lovely with it. And I've used my brush pens for the background and the horns. And I've used my gel pens, these beauties, in here for the butterflies. And it's come up an absolute treat. I'm really, really pleased with that. And that is basically that. So that's what I've done so far. It's coming on quite well. I'm looking forward to obviously finishing my cat. If I can get my cat back out. Again. Because I'm doing that in the cold colour palette. Even though I've put a little bit of gold in. Just because, you know, it's got to get the yellow in there somewhere. And also the orange there. Um, I'm really looking forward to completing it. Mostly in gel pens. Sometimes I will use some colouring pencil. Because I think the softness actually helps. And I've done watercolour brushes, obviously, for the background. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know how your... Where's my favourite? One of my favourites. Let me know how your brush pens have developed and come along in the comments below. And also, if you've got the gel pens, what do you think of them? Let me know because I think that they're quite good because you've got some metallics which are just metallic and you've got some with glitter which is exactly what you want so that they will enhance what you've done. Please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for the support. Bye!